Um, uh, I hope my question makes sense. I'm not an economist. Um, you had spoke about the importance of relying on a gold standard. And um, my question is, um, you know, I know that a lot of Americans are invested in precious metals, gold and silver, um, whose resources are being drawn from developing countries. So if we were to return or to rely more heavily upon the gold standard, do you believe that uh, many of these Western corporations would or should uh, maintain control of these resources? Okay, she's, she's wondering that going back on a gold standard, uh, this might give too much power to some corporations in some countries who produce the gold. Uh, that concern about needing to find the gold and getting the gold is, is, is really not a, a real worry at all. The most important thing is that you have free market pricing. Uh, if, if you have free market pricing, the amount of gold doesn't matter. This was a much stronger argument uh, when we were arguing the case that the American people had a right to own gold, you know, in 75. From 33 to 75, we, as Americans, weren't even allowed to own gold. And the argument then, uh, was a little bit different, but it was along that line. No, we don't want to do it because most of the gold came from Russia, Soviet Union at the time, and South Africa, and they didn't want to subsidize it. So, uh, but now we don't have those two, but even then, that isn't the point. They're going to produce the gold, the gold goes out, it's fungible, it goes back and forth. Uh, so, uh, it, it, it wouldn't give them any benefit. I think that if you one thing about gold, and the reason it is money, it is precious, and we see it as being precious, and there is a, a certain fixed amount. Gold never disappears, it just hangs around. So in, in production, I think it's like 1% uh, of the total gold supply. So nobody can you know, mess around with the value of the gold and have more power because of those production. Besides, there's always production costs, and that tells you the purchasing power of gold. And uh, if, if they're not producing the gold, the purchasing power of gold goes up, and then there's and then there's a great in incentive, and then somebody goes and gets gold from someplace else. So actually, it's uh, it's not very important, but uh, it's it's an interesting question, but it, it doesn't affect the gold standard at all.